Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Found some really good footage of Annika Sorensen here. Um, I think on the left hand side was just after she shot 59 in, in 2001. This was prior to Reunion being built where she has her academy in Orlando. So I think she used to go out to the, the David Ledbetter Academy and practice out there quite a lot. So on the right hand side is also um, a driver swing. I think this was a year or so later, but I thought I'd just to, you know, take you through and give you a little bit of comparison, the differences really that we're looking for uh, from a iron to a driver, especially in the, the amateur golfer, um, and we're seeing really most of the LPJ Tour players. I think some of the uh, male golfers are real strong hitters. You'll see a slightly different look to Annika on the right-hand side, but, you know, fantastic swinger great model um, practice next a year or two ago obviously she's been retired for a while but incredibly strong hitter you know it was a very accurate ball flight and one of the most impressive players I've, I've actually watched so let, let's just uh, start on the left hand side you know real simple looking at up there just a slight shaft lean she has this really nice sort of bump into her right side and that gives her this nice wide look in her you know swing you know she doesn't set overly early but sort of pretty much by halfway gets near to this sort of l shape but some you'd see that the shaft a little bit more up in the air she's slightly wider through that look than some you know to the top a real simple look forearms are really nice and and level there a nice toe hang, you know, club certainly not overly shut. So, you know, I think that's about as good as it can be done. Then she has this really strong, good move into her front side, started sort of from the ground up through that hip. And then one of her real characteristic movements, you see in players like David Duval, I know you used to really see it in players like Henrik Stenson earlier in his career. I remember watching him when he won his first European Tour event in in England actually bents in the hedges and his head used to rotate incredibly early not so much now but this is really one of Annika's sort of movements in her swing she's known for she you can clearly see she's looking sort of ahead of the ball early and you'll see us in a lot of good players guys like uh, Boisinger you, know, you can see she's really retaining the lean in the shaft for a long time hands have really pulled over the club head to this great look through impact so I know they're really always looking for to create a sh straight line from the shoulder through the hand sort of through the the ankle which Annika clearly does and everything really turns through nice and level covered spine very much straight at, at finish so on the right hand side now I think what stands out you know when you can see that the shaft is slightly leaned away, which we, ideally we see of a driver where with the iron we've got this slight shaft lean. And then if we really look at her head, now if you look at the number sort of a track man on the LPGA Tour, most of the women are hitting sort of up on the ball. I think the the average is about three degrees up, where the PJ Tour, they're still swinging slightly down on it. And, and there's no question, if we can swing slightly up on the ball, we maximise distance so you're going to see a similar look in her swing here a little bit more movement off the ball than you would see with her iron straight down here and take a look so you can see it's clearly sort of a larger move off the ball very much a completed look and then the big difference with the driver you're going to see her sort of stay behind the ball more so that allows her to really swing up on the ball and you see this with lots of the LPJ tour players um, you know, it's certainly something to maximise distance. The driver is the way forward. You can see with her, her iron, she's much more covered. That allows her to create this descending angle of attack. So in a lot of the male golfers, you'll see more of them sort of returning closer to this line. Guys like Rory, you know, some really good drives of the ball that are very efficient, can hang behind the ball and really rip the ball into the air. Sometimes in the really long hitters, if you hang behind the ball, they tend to sort of block and, and push a little. But, you know, she keeps everything very level. An ideal looking impact there. You know, turns through very well um, into a balanced finish.